Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I'm super excited because I'm going to share with you my new Click and Grow Smart Garden. And what this is, is you can grow fresh food in your home all year round and it's supposed to be effortless. And from what I've seen, it truly is. So I wanted to show you that there are many selections to choose from. And um, I will have a screenshot of some of those selections. And this is one of them. This is like a smaller unit. They also have a very big three-tiered unit. And there's one smaller than this. And um, I plan to place this on my kitchen countertop and be able to grow all of these wonderful vegetables and flowers. And, and we'll get into all that. And the kit comes with, I believe, three different types of vegetables and fruits or maybe flowers. I forget, but we'll open it up and take a look. And then I got three additional uh, pods. One is red lettuce. It's a plant pod nine pack. The other one is a fruit and vegetable mix, and the other one is vibrant flower mix. So I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like and get started. I'm super excited, and I hope you are too. Okay, so I want to show you what's in the box. So here's the actual piece of equipment where you do the planting, and it comes with two extender lights. And of course, this is the LED light bar that runs across the top to make sure that your plants get adequate light. So what it comes with is a three pack of basil. Okay, so we can plant those. It also comes with some mini tomatoes, a three pack of those, and some delicious green lettuce, and you get a three pack of those. So what I'm going to do is get started. I'm gonna get this set up. It's supposed to be extremely easy to do. These are the little pods where you can see the drain on the bottom and you just slip the plant and soil in one of those, attach your light, plug it in, water it, and it's as easy as that. So I'm gonna get everything set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to just show you real quickly because I just installed the light and you do need to put the extender arms in and they only fit one way. So don't force them in if you see that they don't slide in very easily and gently. And of course, there are little stickers that are on here that say A and B. And there's also a book that explains exactly what you need to do. It's very detailed and very easy to understand. So right now I have it on my kitchen counter and I am going to start putting in my pods into my click and grow and so far everything is a piece of cake very easy to use and I'll be right back okay so I wanted to show you what the little pods look like these are the pods for the little tomatoes and all I'm going to do right now is just open up one of these pod cases or covers in here and I'm going to plant one in and it's super easy to do. You just take it out of the package and then take the lid off and then plant it in. And then all you do is you just slip this cover back on. And here you can see it comes with these little domes and these domes I would imagine keep the plant moist and hydrated. So I'm going to get the rest of this filled up and of course I will show you. Okay, I hope you can see I have uh, the light turned on right now so I hope you can see that I put my little pod packets in each one of these I have my basil my lettuce and my tomatoes and now I'm going to take one of these germination domes that's what they're called and it says to place one over uh, and that causes a greenhouse effect that helps your plants to grow and that you are to remove the domes once the sprouts reach the top, I guess, of the dome. So this just helps create like a little greenhouse effect. And I'm going to put all my domes on now and I will show you the next step. Okay, so I put the germination domes on and a quick note, everything locks into place. So when you put your little pod in here, make sure that it locks in nice and tight. So I have everything ready to go. 
Uh, one quick note, make sure that you lock these into place. They kind of snap or pop into place. So just make sure that everything is nice and tight and sealed the way that it's supposed to be. And now ready for the next step. So now all I have to do is just fill the tank up with water. And it says here, don't overfill. You'll know that the tank is full once the water le level indicator reaches the bottom of it. So this is four cups and I'm gonna be putting in another four because I think that's what it'll need. But when I'm done, I'll let you know. Okay, a quick note about where you put the water. As you can see, as I'm filling it up, this little water gauge here is rising. So I would imagine when this sinks all the way down to the bottom, that means it's time to fill it up. I hope you can see that. So I pretty much put, um, this is a, I think this is four cups. Yeah, it's a four cup measuring cup. And I filled it up four times so far. And I think I'm pretty much at the top. And I think that's probably going to be enough water because this little level has now risen to the top. And I think that's pretty much it. So here we have it. It literally took 10 or 15 minutes. This was the first time I ever used it. I didn't really watch any videos on um, how to use it either. I just used my handy little quick start guide and it was very, very easy to do. You can also label them. Now, I was supposed to use a marker that was washable and I grabbed a Sharpie, but I'm sure I'll be able to get that off or put a sticker over it. So when you're labeling what's in here in your little pod, make sure that you use either a sticker or um, a washable marker. But it's that easy to do. And now I have everything up and ready to go. I'm going to move this over here so it has its own little area on my kitchen countertop. And I'm going to be so excited to see my lettuce, tomatoes, and basil grow. I am so, so excited about it. So I wanted to just show you, this is my counter space. And as you can see, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. I still have plenty of room here to do my cooking and food prepping and whatnot. So I'm gonna leave it right here, it's tucked away. And if I have to move it, it's so easy to move. You can literally just slide it around and move it to any other location that you need to, or you can just pick it up and move it. But I think right there is good. I'll be able to enjoy watching it every day and watching the progress of all my wonderful plants and yummy, delicious salad tomatoes. I just can't wait until things start growing. And this is something you can keep for years to come. You can just keep rotating different types of plants and vegetables and just enjoy it consistently in your life. And of course, I'll keep you posted and updated as to how everything is growing and what it looks like as it's growing. And I can't wait to be able to eat this natural, delicious, homegrown food. It's about time that we get to enjoy growing things in our own gardens, especially if you don't have a big garden um, like I don't. I have a front garden, but my back garden we took away because we wanted to have like a full patio out there. So I'm so excited to be able to grow, you know, organic, nice, fresh lettuce, tomatoes and flowers and everything right in the comfort of my own home. Now, also, I'm going to have a blog post on sassytownhouseliving.com. And I will, of course, provide more detail and some company information and links to where you can pick up one of these yourself. It's so awesome. I hope you do get a chance to experience it. It's a very relaxing thing to do. It's very zen-like to be able to set this up and do it yourself and you only think about what you're doing and it's kind of de-stressing. So I really appreciated that as well. And of course, please subscribe to our newsletter. I will have the link below in the video description. And also I'll have a link to the blog post where you can uh, subscribe over there as well and keep track of how everything is going. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, of course, leave them below. And I will be back and show you how my little sprouts are turning out 
and how awesome this whole experience is. Thanks so much for watching and have a great and safe day.